has an important contribution to make to the world today. The Confucian tradition, with its emphasis upon ecological thinking, upon interdependence, upon trying to get the most out of the circumstances, um, is something that is necessary to address the pressing issues of the time. All of the all of the problems that the human being is facing today can only be resolved through collaboration by people working together, uh, by, uh, by uh, countries working together. And so my reading of Confucianism is that it has a very important uh, contribution to make as an alternative to the ideology of individualism individual people, individual states, um, that's not real. We're not individuals. Everything we do is in association with other people. Uh, everything that, that um, nation states do is really, um, it's, it's an ecology, a political and social ecology. And so we have, to, we have to recognize it as such. And I think that the Confucian tradition's notion of qin qin, China, China, the Confucian notion of Xiao is something that, that Confucianism doesn't have to persuade Italians or Ugandans of Qin Qin. Everybody feels Qin Qin. And so um, the Confucian tradition can be a, should be a model for other people to look at their own tradition. What, what kept China together for 4,000 years? It's the Xiao Dao. It's the intergenerational transmission of a living cultural tradition. When you look at Greece, when you look at Italy, when you look at Egypt, when you look at Iran, they don't have that kind of thick continuity that China has because the Chinese tradition, the notion of Xiao, makes each generation responsible for embodying and transmitting the tradition.